Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Upgraded Sets. Today we're going to be looking at a rather odd set that uh, was probably conceived at a time when, you know, they expected your average caster class to be in there bonking things. Um, it is known as Infernal Tools. The Infernal Tools set is uh, seemed to be pointed at a necromancer because it has obviously necromancer skills on it. But it also seems to be pointed at an necromancer who goes in there and beats things. Um, and let's go over the set together and we'll talk about it uh, piece by piece. And we'll also talk about what they changed in the 2.4 public test realm uh, with this set. Uh, and, uh, you know, get an idea of what it could potentially be useful for. So uh, right off the bat we have the Infernal Torch Grim Wand, which is uh, 13 to 14 damage. It is a uh, level 5 requirement. It has no strength or dex requirements. It also has a uh, plus one to Necromancer skill level, plus eight minimum damage, which is actually massive. If you look at my damage right now, um, without anything on, I am rocking three to four, or sorry, three to six damage, right? And I put on the uh, weapon and I go to 41 to 42 uh, with the weapon on because we have, you know, this massive plus 8 to minimum. So my minimum damage is literally almost matching my maximum damage. Um, we also have... Uh, we also have 50% uh, damage to Undead, of course, because it is a wand. And then we have a two-piece bonus on this, which is plus 10 attack rating per character level of 990 attack rating at level 99. So at level 5, when you put this on, it's giving you 50. At level 10, it's giving you 100. At level, you know, 20, it's giving you 200, and so forth and so on. Uh, they really wanted you to beat things with this. Um, the helmet, the Infernal Cranium, has 203 defense, which does have a defense based on character level of 2 per level. So at level 5, you're going to get 10 defense plus the initial 10, 5, which is 15. Uh, we have uh, level 5 requirement with all resistances 10, which is definitely nice at a lower level. Uh, we also have 20% damage taken going to mana, which makes this a really, really effective low-level melee helmet. If you are unaware of how damage taken goes to mana works, it works very simply like this. Let's say a monster comes in and hits you for 100 damage, okay? The 100 damage is going to go to my health orb, all right? So I'm going to take 100 damage. Then 20% of that damage is going to go to my mana orb, which is, which is over here. <laughs> I'm trying to point. Which is my mana orb over here. And I'm going to gain 20 mana. I'm still going to take 100 damage to the orb, but I'm also going to gain 20 mana for the for the hurt, which is very, very effective. This is a very easy way for early melee characters to maintain their mana pool, and uh, I would definitely recommend that if you have an Infernal Cranium sitting around, you throw it on your level 5 character, because it can be very effective to keep your mana pool up. Uh, we also have a... Uh, uh, Infernal Sign Heavy Belt, which is 31 defense. It only has 8 potion slots, which means it could do with an upgrade. Uh, we have 45 strength requirement on this at level 5. It has 25 extra defense, just flat, and it also has uh, 20 to life. It has uh, two different bonuses. So it has half freeze duration, which is kind of weird, considering the full set bonuses cannot be frozen. It also has poison resistance 25%, which is definitely very nice for level 5, because you're going to need it when you fight Andoriel. Um, now, the two-piece bonus on this set is eight poison damage over three seconds. So they're trying to get you to bonk things. And the full set bonus is plus one to Necromancer skills. Uh, so we got plus two to Necromancer skills in totalis. Uh, we've got 20% uh, bonus to attack rating. So we've got another bonus to attack rating. So not only does this set give us 990 to attack rating, you know, based on character level, of course, we also get a 20% bonus on top of that, which is stacking it up even further. Um, as you can see, I go from 1,945 to 2,334. Uh, we also still get the 8 poison damage, 6% mana steal, uh, which again implies they want us to bonk things. 20% uh, chance of open wounds, which again applies they want us to bonk things. And uh, we get increases maximum mana 20%. Now this is an addition um, in the 2.4 patch notes I have here. Uh, they said they added maximum mana 20%, which is a pretty big boost in mana. Um, so we will actually go from 200 to 240, and the more mana we have, the more mana it will give. 
Um, we also have an, a Cannot Be Frozen added on here. So the full set bonus now gives us Cannot Be Frozen, which is an absolutely great mechanic to have on any character. In fact, most characters try to have Cannot Be Frozen no matter what. No matter how they get it, whether it's from Ravenfrost, whether it's from a uh, Trangul's Belt, whether it's from Death's Set, uh, whether it's from uh, a Cham Rune in their helmet or armor, whatever it may be, most people try to have some form of Cannot Be Frozen. So absolutely excellent. But the thing about this is, is at level five, you just get that they just want you to go out and do the bonkening on things. I mean, like, let's go play with this real quick. So I'm like a level five character, right? So where am I at uh, at level five? I'm probably what Stonyfield. Um, and I'm running around with this set, and I'm just gonna bonk things. Like that's my job, apparently. Maybe I have uh, what do I got? Maybe like uh, um, one skeleton. Right, so I got like a nice little skeleton fighting alongside me, and I'm just, I'm just running. I'm in hell difficulty, of course. I didn't even realize. Hold on, let me go to normal difficulty because at level five, you're obviously not gonna be in hell. My bad. It's like the second or third time I've died in one of these videos. I need to uh, pay attention a little bit better to what I'm doing. I was totally expecting that to go differently. I didn't realize I was in hell. Come on, buddy. Uh. Uh, 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 the melee necromancer lives, buddy. The melee necromancer lives. Heck, I think you could utilize this in Act 2. Uh, I think you could even do well in Act 2. Let's go to Act 2, uh, Lost City. Why not? Why not? I'm gonna go bonk things. Come here. Come get bonked. Come get wrecked, champions. <laughs> so as you can see, this set really was made for a melee necromancer. And, uh, and it's rather silly. Uh, I just, I never quite understood why specifically... They wanted a melee necromancer to exist. But I guess, you know, early game, it really doesn't matter. All characters can technically melee. You can even use a bow for quite a bit in normal difficulty. And, um, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to throw this whole set on a necromancer or run around bonking things with your wand, you certainly could. So let's uh, explore upgrading this, because I like to upgrade all these sets now that we have the ability to. So uh, the wand, which is the weapon, let's see what it upgrades to. So, Ral, Soul, and a Perfect Emerald. So, we're going to go from uh, three to four to 13 to 14 damage, uh, level 5, to 21 to 29 damage, uh, level 25, with a strength requirement of 25. And it goes up to 30. Uh, definitely not a good upgrade. Uh, 21 to 29 is not enough damage for level 30. Um, if it was a little bit lower, maybe. But, uh, unfortunately, that's just not good enough. Uh, Infernal Cranium Cap can be upgraded, of course, as well, with a Shale, a Tal, and a Perfect Diamond. And that's going to go from 5 defense, level 5, to uh, Infernal Cranium War Warhat, 46 defense, 20 strength, level 22. Um, and with the uh, the defense bonus, it does go up to 244. Uh, we also have Infernal Sign Heavy Belt, which is uh, Shale, Tal, Diamond, and that's going to go from 31 defense, 8 belt slots, 45 strength, level 5, to uh, 67 defense, 12 belt slots, 88 strength, level 25, which is uh, also goes to level 30 when equipped. I mean, other than the belt slots, I don't really think that's worth it. I mean, if you had this belt and you just wanted to upgrade it for the belt slots, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> So let's upgrade the uh, the weapon again. I need one uh, perfect emerald. Apparently I forgot to put that in there. Uh, so we're going to upgrade the wand one more time, which is going to go to uh, the elite version. So it's going to go from 21 to 29 damage, uh, 25 strength, level 25, to uh, 30 to 31 damage, 25 strength, level 64, which goes to 76 when equipped. Holy, holy Jesus. Uh, the Infernal Cranium War Hat goes from uh, 46 defense, 20 strength, level 22. With a Lemako and a Perfect Diamond, we go to the Shaco, which is 114 defense, 50 strength, level 43. 
not exactly a great upgrade. Um, and then, of course, the Infernal Sign Battle Belt goes from 67 defense, 88 strength, level 25, to uh, the Troll Belt, which is 87 defense, 151 strength, level 62. Uh, quite honestly, I can't really see a reason to upgrade any of these pieces, even one tier. Um, they really just are really bad pieces of equipment. Um, they're made specifically for a melee necromancer, and the melee necromancer um, really kind of dies out toward the uh, end of Act Two. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be meleeing on a necromancer past Act Two, most likely. And um, honestly, with a fully upgraded set, I mean, I could totally see maybe even killing something in the River of Flame in normal difficulty. But uh, but why would I be in River of Flame at level 76 with uh, with this fully upgraded set? If they really wanted to turn this into some sort of uh, melee necromancer item, um, they're going to have to to utilize it in such a way that it gains more than just what it does. Um, number one, if you wanted to upgrade it anywhere past normal difficulty, it needs some sort of enhanced damage on the wand. Um, it's probably also going to need uh, more than just plus eight to minimum damage. It's probably going to need minimum damage based on character level. Um... I don't know why the half freeze duration still exists on here, especially considering they added cannot be frozen. I think that's an oversight on their part. Uh, did I say fart? It's an oversight on their part. They need to change the half freeze duration to something else. Um, at level five, it serves its purpose. Don't get me wrong. I think at level five, it works absolutely great. You put it on at level five, you run around bonking everything. You've got your little skeleton army running. You get plus two to skills. Uh, which is definitely very nice. You get some mana steal and some damage taken to mana, which will help keep your mana pool full, and it also gives you a bonus to your mana, maximum mana, around that level. And uh, and I feel like it definitely could be useful from probably around level 5 to maybe like Act 4 uh, normal difficulty. But by the time you get to around Act 4 difficulty, I feel like it's going to start to wane off. It's not going to give you enough effects. Um, I mean, the Cannot Be Frozen is definitely going to be nice, and the increase to maximum mana will scale with you as you go along, but the Mana Steal is going to cease to be useful when you can no longer hit things. The Open Wounds is going to cease to be useful when you can no longer hit things. The uh, Bonus to Attack Rating is going to be no longer useful when you no longer want to hit things. The Attack Rating is going to be no longer useful when you no longer want to hit things. Um, and even the damage taken goes to mana is going to be no longer useful because you're not going to be in there actually getting beat down anymore. And, uh, and it really comes down to, to that, is that a lot of the effects on this set eventually become useless um, as you transition your way off of the melee necromancer. <laughs> As always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when it is on an infernal set like this. And uh, as always, keep watching.